What's up, friends? Um, Saturday. We're exactly three weeks out from the Orlando Europa. It's about 6.45 a.m. I just got up, did my regular routine. Um, I just took my weight. This morning I weighed 187.7 pounds. Um, I just got done taking my pictures for Coach. The plan today is to check in with him. We've been checking in at this point um, on a daily basis for the most part. We've been going, we've been pushing real, real hard. Low carbs for about two weeks straight. Then I had um, a high carb day, which I haven't posted on YouTube yet, but actually by the time this post, that we posted, which was nothing crazy. It was 150 grams of carbs. Um, the past three days we actually dropped, we've done no carbs. So that's been tough. Right now I feel energized in the morning. I actually feel pretty good. But about half an hour after my first cardio session in the morning, I start to really go downhill and feel like shit. Um, generally that's how I feel. But uh, I'll get I'll get into more of that lately, later. And then the mental aspect of everything, as far as like getting through these days, being three weeks out this close, it's crazy because everything starts to happen so fast. You know, we have a lot of work to do. Um, there's always a lot of work to do. But, um, so the plan today, we were talking, I was actually supposed to travel to Vermont today and see him, train with him, see him in person, we were gonna do a high day. Um, was actually, would have been 300 grams of carbs. That was the plan, which I haven't had 300 grams of carbs in about 12 weeks. It's been a long time since I've touched that many carbs. Um, I don't need it mentally. I need to do what needs to be done, no matter how shitty I feel. Um, but the plan today is, we don't have a plan other than me checking in early, so I'm gonna send him those, get on the treadmill, and then I'm gonna wait and hear back from him. We kind of talked about, like I said, initially doing that 300 carb day, but then we were discussing how we like the progress that we're making, and we want to keep pushing hard, maybe do another two or three days at zero carbs, um, and then do a refeed day just because we like the progress that's been made with the zero carbs. And I still actually look pretty full for going low carbs for so long and now at um, three days at zero. So I don't know what I'm bringing you today diet wise. It's gonna be a surprise, but I'm gonna go ahead and put my bet on it right now that we're gonna stick with zero carbs for a few days, really push this conditioning with three weeks out. It's a lot of time, but it also comes quick at the same time. It's kind of crazy how that works, but um, this is like crunch time. It's when you really gotta suffer. That's what we're doing. We're doing two cardio sessions a day, 50-50 technically, but I usually do 70 in the morning, 30 at night. Um, that's probably what I'm gonna do this morning, depending on how I feel. Um, and then we'll see what he says as far as diet goes. I don't expect a high carb day. I don't need a high carb day. Um, I need to be incredible in three weeks and the rest of the season. That's what matters most to me. I don't care how shitty I feel, but um, I'm gonna do that, do my cardio, and then I will let you know. Today will be a new day. It's either gonna be zero carbs or a higher, higher carb day than you've seen. So either way, it'll be a new day to you guys. So let's get the day going. The verdict is another no carb day, which is what I expected. Um, so what we need to do, man. We gotta push. I'm not gonna lie. So I did 70 minutes of cardio. As you can tell, I'm dead. At like 40 minutes, I was like, fuck. <laughs> this shit, dude, you hit a wall, man. But you gotta be mentally strong. And at this point in the day, this is when I really start to feel like shit. And I feel like shit right now. Like absolute shit. But this is what I do, man, you know? This is what I do. I live for this shit. I can fucking do anything. And this, I can absolutely do. And I'm gonna be incredible in three weeks. And this is what it takes. I'll do whatever it takes. Get back to the Olympia this year. So, yeah. Most people would cry and bitch and be like, oh, I need my carbs. Coach, give me my 300 grams of carbs. Fuck that. We got shit to do, man. I listen to my coach, I trust him. We gotta suffer to be incredible, and that's what we're gonna do. 
So I'm gonna break my meals up a little bit different today. My pre-workout and first meal are usually together. I'm not gonna do that today. I'll show you every meal. Um, I got chest and delts today. These are the days that are training four days straight. And, and also, like I said, four days straight, no carbs. We've also been at 75 for about three weeks other than the one day we did 150. So it's been a struggle, man. But that's when you really dig deep and find out how bad you want this shit, all right? All right, so now it's time to cook meal one. Usually um, on the weekends, you guys see me combine my uh, pre-workout meal with meal one, but I'm gonna do a little bit different today since we're going no carbs. I'm gonna spread it out a little bit. I'm gonna rest a little bit. I'm gonna eat meal one, chill for like 45 minutes, and then eat my pre-workout meal, which as you know, is usually cream rice, which is so delicious cream of rice with uh, whey isolate and peanut butter. So we cut the cream of rice so it's just going to be protein. And I still get the nut butter, though, almond butter. So, But um, I'll show you. I do something differently. I don't do a protein shake. Uh, I don't do the whey protein. I want more volume so I'm not eating very much food. Um, at least it doesn't feel like it, obviously. It's not a lot of food. No carbs, so I want more volume. So I do egg whites instead, which I'll show you. So meal one, I'm actually gonna change a little bit as well. I'm gonna drop the coconut oil for another full egg um, because I want more like real food. Um, I'll do this on, on no carb days. Just like I said, just get more food. It's the same macros. Um, you're just exchanging you know, a fat for another fat just more food, the egg, the coconut oil. So I'm gonna do that and I'll show you that. Get Natalia's food ready um, and have breakfast, relax with her for a little while and then get ready to kill this workout. So this is something that I've never tried before. I'm a big Truvia fan. I literally put it on everything, whether it's egg whites, beef, chicken, tilapia, everything. So good. So um, for my coffee, I see people doing these uh, better stevia flavors, zero calorie. I've never tried them, but I'm, I just got some on Amazon, so I'm looking forward to trying these. Maple, dark chocolate, I also got like a, a toffee one as well, which I'll try these with my cream of rice in my oatmeal when I have carbs. So those should be delicious, hopefully. So meal one, we have now, like I said, meal one by itself, no pre-workout meal. A cup and a half of egg whites, there's some mushrooms and onions in there. And then two whole eggs, which like I said, I replaced one whole egg for the half tablespoon of coconut oil. And I actually decided I'm gonna have carbs today. I'm gonna have two raspberry pancakes and two more eggs. No, I'm just kidding. This is for, uh, for wifey right here. Take care of your lady, always. Make her pancakes. So, quick change of plan. I decided I'm not gonna do egg whites pre-workout for more volume because I'm not gonna wait that long to eat. I just ate a bunch of egg whites, so I'm gonna stick with the protein. So I'm going with Almax Isoflex birthday cake with my tablespoon of peanut butter. So what I'll do is I will put two scoops in the bowl, a tiny bit of water. I'll mix it up into like a pudding. I'll put the peanut butter in. I will freeze it for, usually I'll freeze it for the day. Um, I'll freeze it for about 45 minutes and then I'll eat that slowly. So I'll put that together and I'll show you what that looks like. So the key to this one is consistency. You don't want to use too much water. You want it to be thick. See that? Oh, it's like a batter. So start with a little bit of water, add a little bit as needed, but like I said, you want to keep it thick. Then I'm gonna add a, I'm gonna hide it in there, a tablespoon of peanut butter, so 16 grams. I weigh my peanut butter. And then I'm gonna throw in the freezer. I'm gonna hide the peanut butter in the protein and it's gonna be a delicious frozen snack that thaws out slowly so you eat it slowly and it's delicious. So here is pre-workout. You have um, basically what I've been doing minus the cream of rice. It's just the two scoops of whey protein, uh, 16 grams of peanut butter, almond butter to be specific. Um, and I froze it for about 45 minutes so it's hard and you get the baby. You got the baby spoon there to eat it slow. This is better than having like a protein shake because obviously you take that down really fast. Um, this is more like a pudding and it thaws out slowly. You can eat it slowly and it's actually really, really, really good. The hardest thing about this is picking which protein powder you want to use. Yeah, buddy. When you find that 
little spurt of energy, you gotta fucking dig deep, grab it, and let's go. Gym time, got chest, delts. I felt like shit like an hour ago, but I'm ready to go right now. I'm about to fucking kill this shit. Sorry for my language, but when I'm tired and I feel like this and I get a little pumped up, things get a little crazy. So I'm gonna try to get some clips and Tali's not coming with me. I'll grab my cell phone. I got tank today, so I'm feeling good right now, man. I'm gonna try to try to kill this shit. So let's go. Uh, first exercise of the day that I'm not filming. It's too hard to do it here, but I'm starting with an incline Smith machine. Now it's a pretty high incline. I really want to work on that top shelf of the chest. Hit it high. I'm also training shoulders today. I got a little front delt in there, but with that connection between your front delt in your chest because we all need a big ass at the chest. So nothing crazy, just two plates and a quarter, about 30 seconds rest, get about six to eight reps. I'll probably drop this and then move on from there. So we did five working sets there. I did uh, three with two and a quarter, two with two and then one drop set down to one and I'm already almost feeling pretty crazy already. Okay, so just three working sets on the flat dumbbells. I'm doing 90 pounds. Um, that feels pretty good right now because I'm, I'm pretty spent for that first exercise. So, you know, you want to get good feeling in the muscle. You don't need to grab the 130s and just fucking be stupid about it. Um, so we're sticking with the 90s, getting between, I don't know, eight and 10 reps, I believe. So three sets there. Okay. So there I did four sets, six sets of cable crossovers, low, medium, high, super set with a front raise with a 45 pound plate. Uh, I did six sets of that as well. All right. I couldn't finish the rest of that with the tripod. It was just a pain in the ass. So finished with four sets of cable side raises um, and then I went and hit superset weighted dips with a uh, reverse pec deck. People just staring at me like they never seen something talk before. Um, now I got 30 minutes of cardio on the stairs and that's it for the day. Uh, the rest of the day we'll be eating, relaxing. I gotta show, show the unit one of our rental units after my brain's not functioning well, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, I'll show you the rest of the meals, no carbs the rest of the day. Plan is to check in tomorrow, see what we're gonna do then. I may film tomorrow too, unless we're going to no carbs, it'll be the same thing, so I won't film. But if we do a high day, a refeed day, I'll show you that, it'll all be in the same video, so we'll Another see. Another vital step every weekend is on a nice day, 
taking bay for a car wash it's you got to do it man you got to keep it clean you know man i just want to take like two seconds really quick on my drive home i get a little emotional at times like this where i'm uh depleted hungry tired getting close to a show but um i'm so thankful for everything that's happened to me like i mean obviously my whole life you know everything has happened to get me to this place today but the way things have been going lately with like the growth of my social media and the growth of my coaching business and everything else that's been going on with life with me and natalia like god is so good man and it's like it took a little while as a bodybuilder to get to this point where it's like i'm making it you know in other areas making money financially bodybuilding and really affecting other people helping other people and being able to reach out and you know a lot of that is the work that i put in the past four years of bodybuilding and yeah that took a long time and it's just incredible how things are starting to happen it's just like keep working hard man you know and don't don't rush the process ever just have faith in what you're doing and just know when the time is right things are going to happen and when they do it's just it's such a blessing i'm just I'm, i feel so blessed right now honestly it's just it's such an incredible feeling and you know a lot of that has to do with you guys and you know people get big following and they have success but they never really thank the people that you know are a big reason for that and that's all you guys so you know thank you guys and like i said keep grinding yourselves everything that's supposed to happen will happen Bay's looking clean that's what i love about spring man clean car see this natalia and i she copied me she had the same exact car as me but ooh. I love spring. So here's our post-workout uh, zero-carb meal. This is a little bit of an interesting meal because I only have five ounces of ground beef. And what I would usually do is obviously just wait till my next meal. I didn't feel like cooking any food right now. Um, I would usually just wait and cook some more and have my full six ounces. But I was craving ground beef now. So I just did the five ounces of ground beef. I added in an ounce. It's a mix of tilapia and... Uh, 99% lean ground turkey. Then we got some green beans and a little mushroom and onion right here. Great news. I just rented my vacant apartment unit. If you guys don't know, I'm a landlord. I just sold the shit out of that place. It's rented. Now I get to spend the rest of my day on my couch relaxing. Yeah, mm. buddy. This is very random, but if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I bought an Xbox a few weeks ago to try to uh, pass time on the weekends when I'm between meals and I'm feeling like really restless and I can't sleep. <clears throat> so I set it up finally after a few weeks and I tried to play it today. I played for like five minutes. I was like, video games, just I can't do it anymore just not my thing so that was a waste of money but i'm gonna send it back get my money back and then just get like a blu-ray player because there's so many better things i can do with my time than play video games like read a book you know knowledge is power so anyway i'm going to meal three right now this is what i do when i don't feel like cooking food fresh so i go to my freezer for my veggies. I get a bag of frozen green beans. Simple as that. Then I, let me, let's take a look at the freezer real quick. It's pretty simple. We got, um, we got chicken, beef, veggies. We got some shrimp in there, you know. Oh, and then we got for Natalia, uh, Plenty gelato. That's a nice little snack. Who doesn't love a little gelato? I know I do. And then let's check out the refrigerator. So this is also what I do. Um, yep. I got this guy full of chicken that I just made yesterday. Let's take a look at the refrigerator real quick here, huh? All right. Pretty basic. You know, I gotta restock my fresh food. We got beef, we got some jam for Bay. She got some uh, some Persian food in there yesterday. 
We got some organic eggs. We got some veggies down there. Whole Foods Bakery is incredible. I got this tiramisu cake. We got some egg whites back there. Let's take a look at this cake really quick. Oh, so good. So good. Um, this is all. I got my Diet Cokes and a few condiments. So, yeah, that's what I do when I don't cook meals fresh. I usually have uh, quite a bit of chicken on me. Actually, it's not really quite a bit. Usually, I have enough for like a day or two. That's about it, lighting. Well, let me take you over to the pantry real quick while we're doing this. Let's turn the light on. Okay, well, we had decisions here. It's always tough to figure out what protein I'm gonna use. We have here, let's see if that'll focus. Come on, this is cinnamon toast. Cinnamon French toast, this one. We got the OG chocolate peanut butter. We have, oh, birthday cake, that one's so good. Caramel mochiato, I really only use that for my coffee. Ooh. And we got cookies and cream right there. I'll tell you, that one's a good one. All these pre-workout with my cream rice, delicious. Amino gel, that is intro, or excuse me, pre-workout. That's got essential and branch chain amino acids. And then we have some more stuff. Obviously, all my All Max products. I found these big sugar-free ketchups the other day at Target, so I had to get those. A little Pam, a little uh, mustard on reserve, because we go through a lot of that. We got some peanut butter, which, uh, yeah, that's my favorite peanut butter. Just plain ground almond butter from Whole Foods. Honey's always Natalia. We got these, my little stevia things I just got. Bread for bay, oatmeal. We got all these pancake mixes that are not for me. My cream of rice, potatoes, which you all know. I'm not eating carbs right now. Back up here, we got some Seval, some amino core, some creatine, some glutamine, some impact pump, some impact igniter, some cyto greens, my greens every day. I just ordered a bunch of these. If you guys haven't tried these, these are the best protein cookies ever. Sinfit, oh lord, my protein bars are incredible too. And then we got snacks for the lady. Don't mind the mess right here, but my water enhancers, coffee, stacks and stacks of Truvia because I go through a lot of that because I put it on everything. Um, these caramels. I wanted these, so I got these from Natalia the other day. We got a big bag of rice down there. Focus, focus. There it is, jasmine rice. And then more supplements on deck, some protein, you know. You know, you know, you know. So, anyway. <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna make this meal. I'm gonna try to take a nap. I haven't napped today. All I think about on the weekends is napping. And I've yet to do that. Natalia's gone to a brother's surprise party. I had to stay behind because I had to show the unit, which at this point she knows that I don't really do much because I'm so dead. I'm tired. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna put this meal together. I'm gonna eat it. I'll show you real quick. And then I'm gonna go down for a nap, okay? I lied. I changed my mind, I decided I didn't wanna wait seven minutes for those veggies to cook, cause I'm hungry, I'm impatient, I just wanna take a nap. So, threw a couple green beans on there. Gonna cook those real quick. Should take a little minute, you know, just gotta get them, get them good to go. Pop some chicken in the microwave and there we go. Another exciting meal. Six ounces of chicken and some uh, some green beans and some asparagus. Now you might say, Scott, why is your chicken that color? Well, usually I'm pretty basic. I don't even use spices, but I threw some paprika, um, some, is it turmeric? 
Yeah, I think it's turmeric. And then that makes the color. So there we go. Meal three, no carbs. All right, it's seven o'clock. We're gonna get another easy meal in. We have, I'm gonna, I got, I got some chicken. And this is a mix of 99% lean ground turkey and tilapia. So I'm gonna do six ounces. Whatever left is left of the turkey and the tilapia. And then the rest and chicken and I prepared this time. I put this in the microwave a little while ago. So I will, it's cold now, but it's cooked. Um, so I'll take what I want out of there, throw it on the plate, and then I have my meal all done and ready to go. Oh yeah, I took a good nap, by the way. Packed my Xbox up, napped, relaxed. And I'm gonna relax, wait for Talia to get home, maybe watch a movie tonight. I'll be in bed at probably like 9.30 though. I got about two and a half hours, so actually probably nine o'clock I'll cook my ground beef for my last meal, eat that and go to bed. Meal five, five ounces of a mix of tilapia and 99% lean ground turkey, one ounce of chicken and about a cup of green beans. Meal five, again, no carbs. Okay, we are preparing meal number six. It's 9 p.m. We have some 93% lean ground beef, which is very lean already, but I will still, I'll strain it and then I'll wash it to get that little bit of fat off. I also will cook up a little bit of um, fresh broccoli and then I'm gonna eat that, go to bed. I'm also going to have one of these guys, Diet Coke, zero calories. I try to drink um, a soda at night because I feel, I drink a lot of water when I'm like no carbs, this hungry. And this was an exciting day, but um, as unexciting as it is being no carbs, it's like 20 times harder for me to get through days like this, especially when they've been straight. But another thing I want to show you real quick is um, what I take before bed to help sleep. So I already took, I took two, um, two Benadryl before bed, I'll take a little bit of L-carnitine. I take a digestive enzyme before every meal. CLA three times a day with meals. And Almax has this Lights Out product. Lights Out, helps you sleep. I also take ZMX. That's what I do every night. So like I said, I'll, I'll take this meal down and then I will hit the sack and then I will wake up tomorrow at probably 6.15, maybe sleep until seven. And then um, I'll take my pictures for coach. I'll do my cardio, send it, send those to him while I do cardio. And then I'll get um, a plan for the day, whether it's another zero carb day or we're gonna go high, high carbs. Honestly, I'm like game to just keep pushing these zero carbs. You know, three weeks, like, some crazy shit's gonna happen and I'm just ready to get diced up. You know, it's worth it, as hard as it is. Um, plus it's like, these are the days that I'm pretty much just, just at home resting anyway. So I go to the gym and then I have the day to, um, to just train and sleep. And, uh, I'll deal with that at home, you know? So I'll show you this last meal. That'll be it for the day. And then tomorrow we'll start again. Meal number six, last meal of the day. Um, six ounces of 93% lean, cleaned, washed ground beef, a little bit of broccoli, a couple, a couple, couple mushroom pieces, a little onion, and a Diet Coke. So what I do with the rest of my food, like I told you, I just throw it in a big Tupperware and then I grab it as I need. So we are out. Good night.